What's up, my guys? This is Mystery School back again for another video. Today's topic is the types of incels. They come in very, very, uh, various uh, shapes, forms, sizes, and outlooks on life. So let's let's do this shit. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so everything exists on a hierarchy. We all know this shit. You know, we're not equal. All men and women are, cre are not created equal. We're all not equal in wealth, talent, intelligence, wit, etc. This is examples. In hierarchy, everything exists on a hierarchy. Hierarchy is a system in which people or groups are ranked above the other according to status or authority. So in theory, there are tiers within tiers. If you don't know what a tier is, a tier is like you're effectively just a place in a hierarchy. So if you're tier for like a tier 5 player or a tier 5 uh, or a tier 6 player, you're competing in those tiers. Or you have classes within classes. It's the same idea here. Tiers within tiers, classes within classes. Same thing. So an example of a tier within a tier would be, so even though we're ranking people, you know, 1 through 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, well, even within 10, so like even even among the chads, there are differences, even if even if they're small, where people, people might notice that small difference, and they're going to say, well, I'm going to pick that one, because it's a little bit different. Well, I'm going to pick that attribute, because I like that better. Even even within tens, even though they're all tens, there's things within the ten category that other tens might not have. So one example here would be two men are judged to be fives. In theory, you could break them down further. So one man could be a five point six, and one could be a five point four. So the five point six might have a um I don't know a better nose than than the five point four. Okay, works. You know it, it that that's an, an attribute you could pick. You know, certain noses are more attractive than other noses. Maybe there's a guy here, he had a, a, a very, very big or a, a hooked nose. Okay, so he's effectively saying, hey, I'm, be I'm, I'm just a better pick than this guy here who has a big nose because I have a smaller nose that's more, you know, looks more like a, uh, a European nose. It works out that way. Uh, differences, once again, are negligible, but show the progression of, of attractiveness. So if you were to take every person in the category of five, well... So, uh, let's say we're going from, you know, four, five to six. Well, you see all the fours lined together, and there would be a natural progression upwards to the peak of the fours, and then, and then you're going to keep going up to the fives, and there's going to be another natural progression up to the sixes. So, you could you, you could even break this number, number, number down here, like 5.6, you go 5.61, 5.62, if you if you wanted to get that uh, granular, but most people don't. Most people don't, don't even get this granular. They stop at five. But let's keep going. So we have distribution of X. I think I've talked about this before in a previous video. Probably the, um, it was like two videos ago. Either way. So let's make our X a resource. The resource could be power or women. Let's go with power. When power is initially acquired, it's, it's consolidated at the higher levels of the pyramid. And then de distributed downward to, to lo uh, lower levels. The trickle down theory. Power is taken in by the few and is kept there. Those closest to the source of X are given more than those further away from it, just by the nature of being closer to it. If you are closer to a source of, of, of information, then it would, be, it would make sense that you would get the information first, and then it would trickle down to, from there should you choose to share it. When it comes to things like power, those closer to government are able to wield more power than those further away from it. If power is, is a circle up here, or the pie, then the pyramid is the mechanism in which power is distributed. When we talk about the about expanding the pie, we are talking about making the circle bigger, which makes things better for everyone. But keep in mind that the few will still have more than you. This is why things like class consciousness arise. You are painfully aware of your place but refuse to accept it. And you think that by tearing down the pyramid you can make things more equal. All you've done is delay the inevitable. You have not removed inequality. You have simply artificially brought people down to your level. Remember, it's harder to push up than it is to pull down. You know, it's easier to pull than it is, than it is to push. But keep in mind that nature will inevitably create this pyramid again, and you will end up back in your place. It's sort of like the caste system. Your place is fixed from birth. You know, I suppose it feels good to bring the rich and powerful down to your level, but at the end of the day, you're simply the king of, of a pile of rubble. Okay, so let's get into the the incel hierarchy here. So the blue pilled incels are absolute shit tier. They're just bottom feeding motherfuckers, dude. Swear to God. 
They're Omega as fuck. They're not even beta dog. They're so they're so far down the hierarchy. It's not even fair. Um, they're male feminists. They have shit memes. They're dirty ass simps. Donate to fucking Twitch thoughts. They're soy boys, and they just outright reject lookism. Sweet mother of God. The blue pilled incel type of incel that most people are thinking about. Basically, they're the socially acceptable incel. And when I say what most people are thinking about, it seems to be like the um, a, a manosphere, especially in the uh, red pill circles that think about, especially in MGTOW and the PUA dating, we're kind of like dating advice, um, what's that stuff called? Like kind of like the um, um, coach, coaching type type um, areas where like people look at these, they look at Enzo and they think, oh, it's this guy here. <laughs> it's like, well, that's not really who you're talking about, but they are a type of Enzo. By the way, you know, they are basically the socially acceptable acceptable incel. Because they are still asleep, they are docile and thus not a threat to the power structure. These incels make up the majority of incels, but are often the most vocal and actually prefer to hate on incels who are red or black billed. These men can be called useful idiots. They are not your allies or, or your friends. They think you are they think that by being peaceful they will get some crumbs of the Lord's off the Lord's table. He'd rather be a socially he'd rather be socially accepted and raise another man's kid while playing Nintendo Switch than grow a damn spine. So absolute shit. Don't trust him. And these are like the guys that browse in, in so tears and I don't know. They're weird they're weird folks, man. It's weird. Next up we have our you know, our red pilled incel. You got you know, meh to to great tier. You know. Cool guys, but some some of them are kinda of shit. Depends on the type of red peeling. If you're still doing PUA bullshit, then you should consider running bath water with, uh, with a toaster in it. Just, just end it now, dog, because it's already over. Okay, only a red pill, only a red pill based on the truth about female, about female really nature and male nature too is, is acceptable. While the PUA bullshit can give you part of this, you are playing, paying into a system that hates you but loves your money, and you can only be Ms. Tao. I won't really cover pur purple pilled incels since it, it appears to be a transition period between blue and red. If you are purple pilled, then you are on your way to, to the red. At some point, the cognitive uh, dissonance will force you to choose. The PUA community hates incels but loves to take their money. The black um the black pill community hates product. Well, so this is definitely a, an inside here, but really like it's kind of a funny joke here. I am black, so it's like the black community. I don't want to use the word hate, but it feels like there's like a a uh, disdain for productive black men that love the basket and their hard work. And this is sort of making an analogy here, but the point is that you should not give money to people who hate you and to men who ultimately, who, and to men who are ultimately making the game harder for you. You know, you can see the video for uh, Juggernaut Theory, but ultimately these men here, they're, they're a dumpster diving so deep that they're making the game harder for you. I don't think that it's possible for an incel to, to truly be MGTOW. If you were going to be sent your own way anyway, you were just saving others the trouble of doing their job. So this is why I say missed out. Like, if you're admittedly an incel and you know that you're ugly as sin, and you and you, and you go MGTOW before, like you like get re rejected down to MGTOW or rejected um, rejected to MGTOW. Like, did you really go your own way? Like, I suppose you did, but it was like voluntary MGTOW. So it's like you you, you would have been sent there anyway, but eh, whatever. You know, these men are firmly are firmly in the middle of the hierarchy. You know, they get some backlash, but are ultimately not a not radical enough to cause societal problems. Here we have here is our ethnic cell from India. These blue pilled up here means like, man, just just be respectful, guys, to women, listen to their problems, and be generous, and women will, will flock to you. Eh, just hit the gym, bro. Just do no fat, no, no pillow. You use eye contact, frame masculine authority to gain women, and you will be slaying. Slaying bitches in no time. It's over, dog. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Then we have the uh, incel hierarchy. Last last step here is the uh, black belt incels. Fucking based. Just based. He knows and accepts look uh, a lookism. Knows the why and the how of female and male behavior. Knows it's over but stays anyway. Creates memes. Copes because he wants to, not because he has to. This picture here, I credit to uh, Black Bull Jesus, he's a YouTuber, check him out. By far, the least socially accepted and most base group. Black Pilled Incel is the king of the pile of shit. Depending on how deep, how deeply Black Pilled you, you are, he's either six feet under or he's sticking around for the hell of it. It's lonely at the top, 
and you are the most hated group on the planet on, on the internet. It's acceptable to make fun of and put you down. Your truth is a hard one to swallow, and few will tread this path uh, uh, willingly. While some may accept parts of your truth, they will never be able to accept the whole thing. In fact, you can barely accept the whole truth yourself. These are the types of men who should be accepted into the manosphere, but normally aren't. Most incels are not truly black billed It's only a select few who truly understand. You can only suppress the truth for so long before until it bursts free. And when it, and when it bursts free, that's when uh, a judgment day appears, or begins. These men will either lay down and rot or rise up. There it is, boys. There it is. And here we have the end. R remember, guys, it's one girl, two systems. For Chad, it's just an easy walk down the lane. For um, everybody else, it's a nice, big, huge maze here that you got to get to the exit for. Good luck. This is a mystery school. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Source of a good old Wikipedia. And always remember, guys, that wisdom is gold. See you next time.